Hey, what's up everyone? Monado Max here, and today we're doing a little bit of a different video. Today we're going to be breaking down the Nintendo Financial Report that just happened this morning. There is a lot to uncover here. We're going to be talking about everything that was talked about, how the sell numbers are looking for the Switch, a lot of the game sales numbers, and just so much more. So let's get right into our first topic. So the first thing that I want to talk about is our top 10 best selling Switch games. The list has stayed exactly the same except... At number 10, a brand new game has come through. A game has beaten New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, which was originally the number 10th best-selling Nintendo Switch game, but that has changed with Ring Fit Adventure selling at 11.26 million copies. I think that is really cool, and I expect that that's a game that will probably beat Splatoon and Pokemon, which is at Splatoon's at 9 and Pokemon is at 8 with uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I think this game's going to continue going up in sales, uh, especially with this whole new COVID Delta thing happening. Uh, I think this is going to be a very popular game that Nintendo is going to be pushing, and you'll see this continue going up like crazy. I know this is a game that really probably shocked Nintendo, just how it shocked everyone in terms of how it's selling, and it's just overall such a fun game. So it's really cool to see Ring Fit being number 10 on the top 10 best selling Switch games. So up next, we're gonna give you the latest on the sales numbers for the top three best selling Switch games. So Smash Bros is at 24.77 million copies. I believe I might be wrong, but when this game got reported back in March earlier this year, I think it was sitting at like 22 million copies. So it's gotten an additional over 2 million copies, and that, that's pretty good, especially for a game that's been out since 2018. The fact that it's still selling that well just goes to show how popular Smash Bros. truly is. Coming in number 2, which I'm actually really surprised, I know a lot of us thought that this would be the game that would dethrone what's at number 1, and uh, number 2 is Animal Crossing New Horizons. This game's at 33 million copies right now. Uh, and I, I think it was like at 31 back in March, uh, somewhere around that number. So it, yeah, it's still selling well. And uh, it looks like it's just not going to beat Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It, at one point uh, last year, it was really close to beating Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And the numbers, uh, it's, I mean, it's still selling well, but it, it's not going to beat Mario Kart 8. And uh, we're going to talk about Mario Kart 8 now. That's what's at number one. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, shocker to no one, at 37 million copies. And uh, we, we all thought that this would be dethroned eventually, but it's just never going to end. Especially when we get to Black Friday, they are most likely going to be bringing back that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe uh, Nintendo Switch bundle. And that's something that always sells like crazy during Black Friday. So by the end of this year, definitely expect Mario Kart 8 to be back at 40 million, or over 40 million probably, and uh, Animal Crossing still probably going to be number two for a very long time. I don't see anything beating Mario Kart. Uh, one thing that's interesting is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is almost beating Mario Kart Wii in the sale numbers, which is actually crazy that this game is doing so many numbers. Uh, I think it's really cool. Uh, I know begs the question, are you going to get a Mario Kart 9? Uh, we'll, we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. So these sales numbers were at the end of June. It was covering, you know, all the sales numbers that has been happening for the Switch since then. All the updated numbers, World Ride, all that stuff. And so we had a Nintendo Switch game that released in, like, the last week of June, and that was Mario Golf Super Rush. It's been reported that in six days that Mario Golf Super Rush has sold 1.34 million copies. And uh, that's super impressive for six days. It's already reported that that's the second best selling Mario Golf game of all time. And I, I guarantee you it's probably the first now after, what, it's been over almost almost two months since the game was released. Everyone was talking about it. And uh, I, I assume that this game is probably well over 2 million by now. Okay, so this one I think is really interesting because I expected this to be way more. And I want to emphasize that this doesn't mean it's a bad game that it sold well, like it didn't sell well. The, everything I'm talking about today sold amazing. Uh, so when I'm talking about this, realize that I'm not saying it sold terrible. I, it sold amazing. Uh, New Pokemon Snap almost sold 2.1 million copies. It sold over 2 million. 
and it almost made it to that 2.1. I kind of expected that game to do way better, uh, somewhere within the 4 to 5 million range, because, uh, I mean, that was a game that I thought a lot of people was talking about on Twitter. Uh, well, actually, no, I don't really think about it. I don't think I saw many people talk about it on Twitter. Uh, but I expected this to do more. Uh, I think it's interesting, and uh, maybe it's going to do way more uh, by the Christmas season. A lot of people love Pokemon, so, you know, that's another thing. Pokemon's like one of the biggest things ever. That's why I was expecting this to do way better. But, uh, again, it's so great. I'm just surprised by the number. I don't know if anyone else is. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you thought Pokemon Snap would sell so much better on the Switch than 2 million copies. I, I just, looking at Pokemon's history with the numbers and all of that, I would have thought this would have done way more. And uh, this one, I'm actually really surprised. Uh, Metopia has sold over 1 million copies. Uh, that was a game that came out at the end of May. So that was only one month of sales that it got to generate because these were the numbers, uh, the financial report from the end of June. And it sold over 1 million copies. Uh, I thought this was a game that would be getting over a million copies, just not that fast. Uh, I would assume that Nintendo considers this a major success since it's a HD port. They probably didn't put too much into this since it was a game that existed on the 3DS. So this game probably did really well for Nintendo. So yeah, I would not be surprised if we see more Me games for the Nintendo Switch down the road since this game sold very well for Nintendo. Maybe even Tomodachi Life. That's something I'm hoping that comes to the Switch eventually. Now, here's the juicy stuff. What's the latest on the Nintendo Switch sales numbers? The, uh, the actual Switch, the console. Well, we got some good numbers to report here. So, for the Nintendo Switch unit, it has sold over 89 million copies or units worldwide. I don't know if this includes the Switch Lite. Uh, the, this article is saying that the Switch Lite sold about 1 million in the first quarter of 2021. And this article is saying that the Switch sales were 3.31 million. So uh, yeah, I find that interesting. I don't know if they combine the Switch Lite sales with the Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna assume probably not since they're two different things. It is a Nintendo Switch console, but I don't know, I would have thought they would separate them. But either way, the system's probably well over 90, uh, probably like right at 90 right now, because these, again, this is from June, and um, this is crazy. Uh, I think the Nintendo Switch could very well end up selling over 100 million units by the end of this year. Because you gotta remember, you have the Nintendo Switch OLED model coming out, and assuming that you know there's not many shortages out there, this should sell very well. Uh, since, I mean, all the pre-orders of the Switch OLED is still selling out. But then again, Nintendo always limits their stuff and makes it sound like it's always going to be limited. So, I wouldn't dive too much into the, you know, it's selling super well with the pre-orders selling out. Because all of Nintendo's stuff, they always have limited pre-orders. So yeah, these are some great numbers for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I'm making a prediction that this system is going to sell over uh, over 100 million copies by the end of December of this year. Our unit, sorry, I keep saying copies. But I do believe the Nintendo Switch will be a 100 million uh, system seller by the time the end of December is. Because with how the system's going, with the Switch OLED, the amount of games that are coming out this year, with PS5s and Xbox Series X, is still hard to get. Uh, I know a lot of people are actually at least around here, I'm seeing people buy Nintendo Switches instead of PS5s and Xbox Series Xs because they can't get a PlayStation uh, to deliver for Christmas. I saw that a lot last year, and it looks like we're going to see this a lot with the PlayStation 5 again this year. So I do expect the Nintendo Switch to be the big Christmas seller of the year because of how everything is with shortages. Also, one more interesting thing is that the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury Switch port has outsold the original Super Mario 3D World on the Wii U. I think that's really cool, and I expect by the end of next year that that's probably going to be on the top 10 best-selling Switch games. So guys, that is all that I have to report with you on the Nintendo Switch sales numbers. Did you like this video? I've never done something like this before. Uh, I thought it'd be cool to try it out and uh, talk about predictions with how I think the Switch is going to sell over 100 million. I mean, 
it shouldn't be ex it should be expected i mean we're here in august uh we should be getting the next report at the end or early october i believe so i expect that we're going to be way closer to that 100 million copies or units sorry uh the 100 million units so i want to know what you guys think what do you think of these sales numbers what surprises you the most out of everything uh, i think the thing that surprises me the most is uh where you've yet to see you know how pokemon snap like you know i would have thought that would have done so much better uh like i don't know maybe i'm looking at it the wrong way one thing i think that was interesting though that they didn't talk about and that was game builder garage we don't know how that game is selling and that came out in the middle of june but before mario golf so i'm expecting game builder garage isn't selling well because if it was selling well nintendo would have talked about it so i think that's interesting and uh hopefully they talk about they did this before with tokyo mirage sessions uh when that game came out they didn't talk about the sales numbers of that game they just let it just let it be so we don't even know how well tokyo mirage sessions for the switch sold and i think that's similar here with uh, game builder garage they both didn't sell well for the switch so guys i've been talking for way too much make sure to backslash that subscribe button like the video check out my twitter check out the discord server all of that is in the description below i will see you guys in the next video peace